the tires up. And the angle that it can hold and throw is insane. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here today to do a drift build like I said I was going to do on that Porsche 924. Um, it definitely looks very FC reminisce, like I said before. The steering wheel is pretty, uh, pretty bare there, but we are here today to do a full drift build on this car. We are going to uh, throw a full kit on this car and uh, see what we can do. Maybe hop into an online session and give it a go in online lobby and see, you know, what we can do with this. So we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna go straight into tunings. Apparently, it looks like there's a wide body kit for this car. Um, oh, wow. Uh, I hope if we put some wheels on this, it will uh, stretch that out. I really hope so. So we're going to throw this really wide body kit on and hope to God that it... Uh, actually puts the wheels out so we should probably just do that right away and see if not because we are going to take off that body kit otherwise it does not poke the wheels out um i don't think we're going to be using that wide body kit i don't even think dropping it on suspension no that's not going to help either so uh porsche is broken we're going to take that uh, white body kit off. Um, I'm wondering if we do the body kit presence, will it poke the wheels out? I'm not entirely sure. We're going to find out. But uh, so we'll try body kit preset. N no. Um, Forza, y you're broken. Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to keep the stock body on this car. Uh, we're just going to get straight into building this car up. We're going to check what we're going to get for power first before we determine what type of tires we're going to run. I think we're going to run this on the stock motor, but we're going to fully build the stock motor as much as we can. Like I said, we'll probably throw this into an online hopper. I'm actually very upset that the body kit looks that way, but I guess... Um, I guess that's just one of those Forza fails that come in here too often enough. I've seen many of them with rims being stupid high weights and, uh, you know, but you can't, you can't have everything, right? So we are at 669 so far. Probably going to just crack 700, if not just shy of 700. 693 on the stock motor. Uh, this thing's probably gonna sound insane. It's definitely looking forward to that. So we are probably we are at 700 horse So we're gonna run Sport tires have uh, grown to love sport tires. I think we're going to Jack it up to 235s in the front And then we're probably going to run uh, 255s in the rear sounds good for right now uh, We're definitely gonna have to throw some different wheels on this car but I'm not sure what I want to put on here. I'm gonna try and keep it somewhat of a retro style wheel, in a sense. I mean, those don't look too bad. We'll just run those for now. So now we have to get into all this suspension, cage, everything, do a full build on this car, transmission. And everything so I hope you guys had a good weekend uh, weather here was actually very nice this weekend so we got out did some stuff had a lot of fun um, so it's nice that the weather's getting a lot better and uh, definitely looking forward to doing some more stuff outside with car show season and everything starting definitely gonna be bringing content to the channel with you know car show season and such going to events drift events and everything I can get 
my hands on going to. We're gonna drop this on 2,200 pounds. That is a super light car. And then, uh, we're gonna throw, it already has sports sway bars in it. So we'll leave sports sways in. So final build on this car is looking like 693 horsepower, 2,211 pounds on 255 sport tires. This thing should rip. So we're gonna save this. We're gonna get in there, do a basic tune on it, send it to the track, get a test run on it, and then uh, modify it from there, and then probably hit an online session. Leave the gearing because we're not sure. We're gonna throw. Normally I go three. We're gonna go with uh, point or 2.5 in the front this time. One five five. We're gonna throw the caster all the way up. We're gonna soften this car up because it's uh it seems like it would get pretty stiff after putting race suspension on it and this thing is gonna get pretty low i hope the the lowness of the car doesn't like get completely screwed up like the body kit does but we will find out here in a second because we are going to lower all this as much as possible 50 is good we're going to lower the braking down for helps with tandems which i don't know if we're going to be tandeming with this car but we may on the online sessions if they have because i believe they changed i went on to an online hopper once before and it looks like it was changed where it was ghosted and there's no just real world drive only it's all wheel drive so hopefully they change that back that car is so low um yep so that drops that a lot so the car looks sick but Will it drive is the main question. So we're gonna get into a session here. Where am I gonna wanna go to give this thing basically a rundown? I haven't drifted Lime Rock. Uh, you know where I haven't drifted in a while. And a good place, I guess, to do a good test runs on. We'll head to Maple Valley and we'll get into this and uh, we will see how this thing goes on the basic tune. In the meantime, we are going to get our wheel cam turned on. There we go. We got to get our Energy Innovations wheel hooked up with our AM Studios quick release adapters and uh, in our Energy Innovations bucket seat. So uh, let's uh, let's just send it and uh, see how this goes. Hopefully, my wheel's linked. I was using the controller, so I hope my wheel. Uh, stayed linked. I do have that issue from time to time. Oh, we're good. So, uh, we just send it in, see? Um, a lot better than I thought it was going to go. I think we need to, uh, extend those gears a little bit. And I think we do need to make some suspension changing. So we're going to do that real quick because I uh, kind of already feel what this car may need some changing on. So we're going to quickly change this. We're definitely going to change the gear ratio because that is a super short gear ratio. Um, race setup. No, not race setup. What am I doing? Tuning setup. Tune. We're going to put the gearing a little more towards speed. There we go. And then we are going to bump that up to 2A, drop that down, drop that a little bit, as well as caster. Everything else seems to be okay right now. So we'll give this a go on that new tune set. And, uh, just going to send it now again. See how this, uh, goes. Surprised I'm not actually wearing my gloves, which I normally would be, but... It does help slide the uh, slide the wheel through. A little bit better. Don't flip the car. A little bit better, but a really bad entry on my part. I thought I put a cage in this car. I did, and there's no crossbars in there. This car is very weird with styling, but. There we go, that's better. Didn't even need clutch kick there. Just 
used to break change, so we're gonna try and throw it now. Ooh, through this section and see if we can't get a decent Manji entry in. Wall to wall. There we go. Quick downshift, clutch kick, e break. Yep, this car's good. I think we are good with this car to send it to an online session right now. This car has some serious angle. Oh, I am so surprised I did not wreck that and lose those points. But, um, I think I found a fun little car to drive. Definitely be very interested to get this in some tandems and see how it works. Except that sign definitely, uh, made a big uh, impact on the way this car rotated. It is only 2,200 pounds, but... I knew this car was a decent slide when uh, stock it was drifting pretty well, but I didn't think it would be this good. It is not bad at all. I'm very happy with how it slides right now. So I think we're just gonna leave it how it is and send it to an online session and uh, see if the online sessions are how they were this weekend when I was messing on around them. This car just lights the tires up. And the angle that it can hold and throw is insane. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. What? I'm going to get greedy with it. We're getting greedy with it. 20k. Uh, I think we're on a very, very big points run. So I think we're going to try and get a really good high points run this lap because... I think this is one of my highest point runs I've had so far here at Maple Valley. I am just actually amazed that we didn't lose that. I lost my train of thought there and lost all sense of where I was going, but we were able to keep it. This car is so insane. I think the highest amount I've ever gotten at Maple Valley was like 70, and I think I just screwed that up right there. I probably have gotten more, but unless I remember, it was like 70. So this Porsche is definitely a very solid fun car to drive. And it has angle to save itself. So we're gonna head head to an online session. So see like I said they did change the drift lobbies. It is only drift now. It's not just rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. It's just rear wheel drive. Um it's all classes. There are no race restrictions. So, unfortunately, it looks like that anybody can be in the lobby, whether it's all the drive or not. And um, I believe the lobbies are ghosted now. So, which I guess is a good thing because people can't smash into you. But it's kind of a, a sad thing in itself, too. I totally forgot I need to uh, start a party up in here so that I don't hear everybody else's uh, conversations going on. Not that I would, wouldn't really mind, but sometimes, you know, other people online can be a little uh, on the annoying side. So we are here in our Porsche, fully built, and uh, based on that little uh, session that we did with it at Maple Valley, I'm super excited to get this thing sideways in online session, see how we do. Although we are going to see if we can vote for our next track. Where's my controller? There it is. Um... Okay, I guess we're gonna go random track because nobody wants to go homestead. Don't blame them. 
because they just raced at Homestead. So, I wonder where we're going to go when we're here in an online hopper. I believe, like I said, I believe everything is ghosted. We're about to find out once we get into this. And we are at Maple Valley in the rain. Oh, boy. Well, this car does very amazing in the dry. So, we're about to find out how it does in the rain. Uh, we do have the driving gloves on now to uh, help us slide around this 350 millimeter energy wheel. And, uh you know, grip the e-brake a little bit better. So we are at Maple Valley short in the rain. Um, yeah, so there's, see, there is a Ford Interceptor, Nissan GTR, GTR, T40, Ferrari F12, G35, it looks like. So 22 of 24 drivers. This should be an interesting session. Um, but, uh, We'll find out because I like I said I think it's all ghosted so we will find out here in a second after I have a sip of my root beer you know stay hydrated root beer is probably not the best thing to stay hydrated with but hey it tastes good so and it's caffeine free Waiting on cars, so we are here at Maple Valley. Maple Valley in the rain. We are all the way towards the front, but I, yep, see, he's a ghost. So it, they do have these lobbies ghosted now. Uh, I guess that's not a bad thing, but then again, it's also, it's really hard to get tandems with people now because everybody's a ghost, but we're gonna send it in anyways. See if we can't stay stable in the rain. Seems to be pretty stable in the rain. As long as you don't overshoot this turn. So I am kind of enjoying the ghosting right now because I probably would have lost all my points right there. But like I said, it kind of does suck too. I thought we were going to overshoot that turn, but we did over rotate that turn. And we were in first and we just dropped all the way down to six because of uh, lack there of points. So. This just makes it to where everybody can drift and not have to worry about other people. That guy's in an all-wheel drive port. Prevents from bashing, but I don't know if I'm a fan of it because of the fact that, you know... Oh, uh, we overshot that. I'm not really a fan of it because you can't really get tandems. So in order to get tandems, you can't get tandems with just uh, random, random players anymore. You'd have to create... A public lobby and have collisions on so unfortunately that makes getting tandems with randoms a lot harder to do and we cut that grass line so this car does handle pretty well in the rain except I was not ready for that some dude is ripping that Camaro Corvette sorry I apologize I mixed those two up that guy lost it But this Porsche is definitely uh, handling pretty well in the rain, other than my uh, bad driving right now, but it's not handling too, too bad. See, I don't understand why we couldn't keep those points. I was actually in full control of that reverse entry, but the game said no. The game said we're gonna take all the points away from you and then make my car understeer really bad. So, rain drifting definitely different the car does handle pretty decent in the rain but not as well as on the dry but that's given the fact of hydroplaning and loss of grip 
in the inside line. There we go. But we're uh, kind of starting to get the feel of the rain again. Don't often drift too much in the rain, but uh, you know, maybe something I should start doing more. This car is so tail happy in the rain though. We're gonna keep that line. Oh gosh. How did we not lose, I would say, how did we not lose our points from hitting that wall, but we lost it when we came to a stop. So, this Porsche build, definitely fun. There's a van right there. You're gonna be doing a drift build on a van as well, but this Porsche is definitely a very fun chassis to drive. As you can see, I'm really able to just throw it where I want it to go. Even in the rain, you know, I've had some bad turns recently, obviously, because I'm not all the way up in first still, but this car is definitely a fun little car to drive. Definitely going to want to be sending it on some uh, open lobbies where I can actually get some tandems because, unfortunately, we can't get tandems on online sessions anymore because they changed it. But I guess it's a double-edged sword, like I said in the beginning, you know, it, that eliminates any rammers, but it also eliminates the ability to get tandems with randoms. And as I say that, we're banging a amazing first turn. We'll clutch kick that to keep that. And how did we lose all those points? I didn't cut. Oh, I didn't even cut the uh, the line. I was on track, but we cut the grass and made us lose all our points. So, get wrecked on myself. We had an amazing run, and then we lost all of them, but... I guess it's not entirely that bad. We are not dead last. We are pretty far back there, though. That was a really nice throw-in, though. But we're not gonna be able to hold that. Oh, so maybe they're giving us some better uh, takes on walls and not automatically limiting our points on walls right away. Because I've hit that wall pretty hard, and normally you would lose all your points. I'm gonna try to stay out further on this one. There we go. We'll actually bank those points that time. The brakes hard on the brakes, hard on the e-brake. Clutch kick too much. Come back to me. Thank you. So, I think this uh, just puts testament to this car. This car is a very nice chassis to drive. So, if you guys haven't done a build on it, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have. Do one. It's a lot of fun. Um, the settings I have are pretty, uh, pretty stable, pretty fun. Might not be your style of driving though, but maybe it is. I don't know how we held that, but we're going to hold that. I'm going to try to keep the points alive with a clutch kick for the last, in the last two minutes of this. Somebody lost the tire. Oh, somebody smashed the tire wall. See, I really wish that that would have been not a ghost because, yeah, I may have hit him, but I came up real close on that guy. That just makes the lobbies a little bit more, I guess, more fun because it makes you actually have to be a decent, you know, person to not hit people. But then again, there is the people that can't drift and they decide to just smack into you. So I wonder if they changed it because of that or maybe they changed it for another reason. I'm not actually sure. If you guys know why they changed the lobbies, let me know down in the comment section down below. Because I'm really not sure why they changed lobbies. Like, the way they did. And why they got rid of the rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Because now you're in lobbies with, like, that guy that has 150,000 above me. It's probably an all-wheel drive car, and he's probably just ripping full 90-degree turns which makes these lobbies a lot harder to do. And I kind of kind of annoyed that there's no real drive lobby anymore, but you know, what can I do? I'm not a game dev. 
That dude just lost it. Oh no, he's just doing cyclones in an all-wheel drive car. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports. So if you guys like what you see and want to see more builds like this and or you guys know why they changed the lobbies, let me know it on the comment section down below. I would appreciate the feedback. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.